Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Endgame of Devil the Luck be a landlord style drafting roguelike that I'm excited to be back to here today. We're going to be going back in with Frankenstein once more, the new character with an entirely new set of items and minions. We're on level four. We've got a couple things that I'll just go over as we get in, but we're early enough in the ascension. It shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, basically, combo, crit, and cooldown things are a little bit less good but that doesn't mean we shouldn't use them. It's not that big of a deal yet. Like, this could still be worth taking. It's just a little bit worse. Because it has a 30% chance to lose one attack. Which means 30% chance to be useless when it combos. So it's a little bit meh. When removed, gain a corpse. I mean, I could. I'm actually not excited about any of those. Which I don't like using a reroll early, but hey. Deep one, crit and charge. In 10 turns, turn into a deep one. I don't mind that. It's pretty far away, but charge and crit is basically if he doesn't hit an attack. Sure, I'll get another one. If he doesn't hit with his melee attack, he may gain a permanent damage up, which is quite nice at the very least. Cooldown two. So this is a 50% chance when a cooldown hits zero to heal a adventurer, so an enemy, by one. So it's not that big of a deal. Radiation does one damage, so it's a neutral at worst. Damage dealt plus one by energy and a 30%, 35% chance to get another one when it's consumed. I also see ignition. 35% chance to generate an explosion, which is a big AoE damaging blast when ignition does damage. I'll say sure. Maybe we'll get some of that going on. Skull Killer, sure. It's free scaling. It's a unit that will either hit and do two damage, which is slightly above average for right now, I guess. Um, cooldown one, deal one corruption. Huh. I do not love the cooldown one on that, but I don't know if it... I don't know if it can proc energy necklace if I don't have the groom. Unclear. Chance to gain a refresh when attacking? Sure. Refresh being re-rolls. Nothing wrong with that. Explosions do bullet to all targets in range. Damage dealt plus one by radiation. I kind of want both, but let's go with Ironheart first. We'll go for the radiation. I think that that is going to be the attempt here today. That'll be the, the goal, the dream, the plan. Chance to gain a refresh. Deal explosion to all nearby adventures and self-remove. Not right now. Uh, attack plus one permanently per nearby adventurer or minion removal is what it is. To be clear, I knew it was not gain plus one for every nearby. I knew there was a catch, but I just didn't know what it was. I'll grab a musket. A little bit of early help here, because this guy's kind of nasty right now. An adventurer on the board gains two ignition. Ignition is, like I said, that's the damage over time thing that we're applying. Just 2% damage. 2% of their max health as damage at the start of the turn. So that's going to be really nice in the sense that Ignition scales up over the course of the run. It's never bad. In fact, when is it worst? Probably right now, <laughs> truthfully. Yellow Friar is an, like a really good early take to me does two damage he gives us the yellow uh, yeah gives us the yellow sign which buffs up somebody's attack damage permanently all right i think we're here's what's kind of annoying about this game this is a, a thing that i find annoying the early game is often toughest in this sort of very weird way inspiration on removal sure i'll get that and probably just remove it Eh. 
Find stuff that self removes is kind of nice. Keeps the deck clean. Yellow Friar. The the concern with that is energy necklace, but like I said, we're on Ascension four. These should not really define our build, one way or another. I'll get yet another one. There's an upgraded version of this that you can get later that is maybe a little bit more concerning. Damage up plus three by old mummy or mummy warrior. Get two fright. Oh, eh. You do better, right? Gambler's thumb. We can basically recruit three copies of something. I'm going to get a couple removals stacked up. Speaking of, I'm going to probably remove the book, get my inspiration. A minion will gain plus one permanent attack, and you get a reroll. Oh, we have the other one here, too. Okay. I'll get the explosive barrel. Stuff that's just going to remove itself, I don't mind it right now. We're in a weird sort of limbo. Turkey's fine since we have brass knuckles. It increases the chance that these charge units gain an attack when they're not by something, which is actually really good with the deep ones who have that crit. Nope. Yep. I think the ignition is going to be nice. Five removal to refresh. Get another monster book. So add these to our pool. We have so many refreshes because it's important. We're going to remove the book. All minions on the board get a permanent attack. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Probably end up getting rid of these guys. We'll wait so we can gain the extra refresh. And now what we're going to do, there was all... Ooh, crit combo charge, sure. That was all leading up to this. I want to re-roll a whole bunch until we get something I really want. Deal four bullet. Cool down to deal four bullet. Does it... This does not increase bullet damage. God, what was that thing? It was like, ignition does bullet? If I get that again and then I can buff up my bullets, that could be kind of... Or explosions do bullets. Oh, that's kind of interesting, but I don't know. We have 13 refreshes left. We're going to get three copies of whatever we pick. I'll tell you what. Let's just say sure. I think, it's, I think it is a good call. Cooldown 2, so it's a little bit weird with this, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Probably get rid of you now. Show me the bullets. It's fine. It didn't even make it up here. None of them even made it up on the huh. Deal a radiation per inorganic minion on the board. Don't have a lot of inorganic minions. Phantom Musket is... Oh my god. Deal a I, I. Here's the thing. This is good, but I did just do it. We can do something... Oh my... Would you stop it? We have the... Um, there we go. Energy Charger to deal a radiation. Okay, so now I guess I'm going to look for a way to generate energy. You've got to be strong. Yep, Mummy Cat can go. I think the Skull Killer can go. You can definitely go. We might get rid of a Yellow Friar. Bad. All adventurers on the board get an ignition. 
damaged up by demon minions up is nice. Yeah, we really do not have very many inorganic minions. That might change as we try and generate a little bit more um, energy, I guess. Mutant Beholder is fine, but I also think it's a little bit slow. Damage dealt by inorganic minions up. I don't have very many. We do know that about me. I literally just said it. <sighs> Sad. I was really hoping for something there. Wow me. Gain a random epic minion and then self-remove. I'll tell you what. Sure. Wow me, man. Damage dealt from electric arc, radiation, corruption, explosion. Yep. I see radiation explosion up. Explosive barrel seems fine because, yeah, it is an inorganic, so that's going to buff it up for this wave. It's going to help a, a little bit. We apply a little bit more corruption. We will be getting rid of our... It's good. What are we up to? You're up to six. I don't know. We got a little bit going on with this. Could the burnt corpse go? I think maybe we get rid of these guys. As much as they're not bad. Energy charger to deal a random bullet. It's a thing. I don't know. I think it's part of a, a build that we're not quite doing right now. Okay. It's all processing. After this, um, one scarab we have, Prox, we... Oh, wait, that cleared the board. Every ignition does extra damage, equaling another 1% of the target's max HP. Yes, that sounds absolutely up our alley. Every four turns, generate an energy and a lightning. It's a very stinky way to gain energy, and I'm not even sure if we should be going for it. I kind of regret it, but hey. Good of you. That'll stop that stuff from entering our build. The explosion's doing some work. Do I care about this? Energy, every two energy we generate, we do one radiation. I, I just don't think I should care. I think it's maybe... I think it's bait. I'm, I'm removing it. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be tricked. It's absolutely bait. I'm removing all that right now, even though we don't need to. It doesn't help us to remove it necessarily at this exact minute. Because we have so many empty... That guy just died. The hell? Each ignition deals an extra three damage. Where did this come from? Oh, this is the random... This is the random epic we got. That's really good. Huh. Gambler's Thumb, let's try and skip our refreshes here, and we'll, can, you know, we'll go for one nastier one. I did not anticipate we were going to be getting that. All right, cool down two due to radiation, which is probably better. It's better than... Radiation is better than ignition. Radiation is its own thing, and it also applies ignition. I think these gun freaks suck for our build. I'm going to just... I'm going to remove them right now. It's not that it's a bad unit. It just has no point being in our build. Ancient tree is a fine, like, it's okay if it wants to be here just to hang out for a bit. 
Again, it's suboptimal to remove him right now. I just, it's incredibly clear that I can and I'm not going to be punished for it. So I'm just doing it for my mental health. Because if this wave carries over... I could have got the book. So like as soon as I hit this, then we're going to the next wave. And now I can't remove. It's a little bit weird, you know? Ah, oh, shoot. Sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this. Get some rolls. Looking for something impressive. I'm, we need better than burnt corpse at this point if we're adding three of them. Generate and accelerate energy and lightning. That is very good. Damage dealt plus four by radiation. Boop. Bada bing, bada boom. Just like that. So it's not going to be anything right now. That can go. It's a good time for that. I think you can go. You're doing 12, but you can also do a crit. 12, but you can crit. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's so difficult to remove them. 12, but you can do a, a combo and an AoE. It's just... Yeah, crit and combo. Yeah, I mean, we got a we got a build here. It's a working. 19 1 2 3 4 5 6. We're running no empties. We're good to go. Uh, I guess I'll grab a burnt corpse for the rest of this wave, which is now is done. Okay. All right. All of a sudden, ign yeah, ignition is going kind of crazy with it. I was really hoping we get something cooler. Cooldown 2, do 4 radiation. Sure. We can start to think about removing... Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to remove these guys. They're good. Should I remove them? Probably not. Six. Seven. We went one too far. All right. Oh, shoot. We didn't even get anything we wanted. That's the kind of thing that when you're on a higher difficulty level, you'll have to care about more than you have to care about right now. But right now, we got that damage over time is just... It's chunking them. It's chunking them in a way that... I th This is confusing. It looks like it's going to be relevant, but it's not. Clear all removal to gain an equal amount of bullet and radiation. We could save that up for the final boss here. But what are we even looking for? Is there anything else we needed to click? I don't think there's any more clicky things, but I'm digging it. There's the bullets. Damage from undead. Don't care. So yeah, about these damage. One jinx per ten energy. That, I feel like that could be silly. One, two, three, four, five. That did thirty damage. That's kind of nuts. But yeah, next wave is our final. No point in adding stuff, because it's just going to um, overflow on the boss. And this is going to... Yeah, this is going to be done in a second. But the moment I hit end, we're, like, already on that next wave. Okay. Cooldown 6. Remove one... Wait, remove and gain a gun freak. I might as well roll here, because we might actually just be done like not right now but just in a second oh rude skip I don't know you'd think okay two turns 
We're going to clear all our removal and do them all. A uh, bit of a smacking. We could worry about that space, but... Oh, never mind. It just happened already. So it looks like there is a maximum, though, for what it's worth. I think there's like a maximum, yeah, amount of... You gotta find that early. It's weird to get that as a legendary. And need to find it early. Seventy-five. I'll admit he's taking a, a little bit, like a little bit more smackins than I was hoping. Yeah, it, there's a cap. One, two, three, four, five, and it's uh, doing what? Ten percent. So it should be doing. Well, truthfully, it should be doing fifteen percent. Huh. It's not crazy. Oh, one second. <laughs> oh, well, of course the game's up. One moment. All right. Yeah, I I will say maybe we're, we're probably missing the core piece. Let's go take a look. It felt like it should have been better than that. So I think we're missing a core functional piece. But I also don't know what it is. This, I guess? But if there's a max cap in the amount of radiation that you can apply, or the, sorry, the amount of ignition you can apply, then, then radiation is going to have problems. It's going to be consistent, though, since it's 15% per turn, it's at least going to be consistently doing that. Because you're doing 15% of max, not current or anything. So, I don't know. Maybe that's fine. Here we go. Here we go. There's something. Do damage to three adventurers equal to the total amount of ignition. I'm feeling like maybe there's not a cap and it's just, like, listed weird. Like, it's just maybe not translated perfectly, but... Who knows? We'll see. We'll keep experimenting with it. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Endgame of Devil. If you would be sad to see this series go, you're going to have to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Moving on up, I'm assuming it's still the same. Yep, indeed. I kind of wish it had its own unique thing because, especially since the Frankenstein feels like it has a worse early game than the, others, the other set of uh, units. Because we're going to get smacked by some of the modifiers that have a really bad, like, level 1, 2, 3. Or, like, you know, wave 1, 2, 3, whatever you want to call it. We're going to get smacked by those as Frankenstein. Like, we're going to lose one or two of our lives on the first couple levels. And then we'll probably coast from there. But, I don't know. We'll see. Alas, alas. That is that. It's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.